Merry Christmas, Feliz Navidad, and Happy Holidays. My name is Malik. I am from Jamaica and Haiti. You may not catch it in my speech, but you're definitely gonna catch it in my mannerisms. And I'm here today with Caribbean Vibrations to come bring to you your perfect holiday drink. Today we're gonna be making punch de cream. It may sound something unfamiliar to you, but like it's actually closer to a traditional eggnog. But instead of using whole milk, instead of using cream, we're gonna be using condensed milk and evaporated milk. And I promise you probably half of you don't know what condensed milk is. So just to go through what we're gonna be using today, we have our limes, just for the lime zest. We have our evaporated milk. We're using cinnamon and nutmeg, our farm fresh eggs. We have our Angostura bitters, also from Trinidad. And we have our condensed milk. Okay, let's get into it. Now, I'm just gonna crack the egg. And we just wanna make sure that we get the yolks and the whites separated. Nothing to yolk. Now we have our six eggs in. They're not looking too pretty, but they're all in there as well, separated from the egg whites. So now we all we have to do is put in our evaporated milk. And that's one can. Perfect. Now we have to add not one, but two cans of condensed milk. Two cans. Honestly, I've always been looking for an opportunity to use condensed milk, especially since like I've always seen it in my grandma's closet, I've seen it in my mom's closet, I've seen it like in every Caribbean house, but I have no idea what it's for. Apparently it's for this. But let's get to the adding. This is slowly becoming my favorite thing to pour ever. Like no drink compares to how smooth this pours. And our next step is to grate a nutmeg in. Now, for this, you don't have to grate a whole nutmeg. You can grate just about one third to a half of it. And next, we're gonna put in our cinnamon. So I'll fill it up a little bit to the top, and you can put that in. Next step, we're gonna add the zest of one lime. Now, for our eggnog, this is definitely going to brighten it up a little bit more. You want it to be a little bit brighter and to cut, cut back on the sugar with a little bit of acidity. And finally, we wanna add a couple dashes of ango. You can do four, you can do eight, but don't be afraid to put as much as you want in there. Now that we have everything put together, all we have to do is whisk it up to integrate. Now, because it's a little bit thicker, because you're getting a lot of the condensed milk with the eggs, you're gonna get a little bit of resistance, that's okay. You wanna make sure you wanna break up all the yolks. You just wanna blend to integrate it. So, for the punch to cream, you definitely want to let it sit for about a day, but, the secret to a really good eggnog is just letting it age a little bit. You may want to let it set for three days, a little bit more. This is definitely something you want to prepare ahead of time for Christmas dinner. Now, with a little bit of TV magic, we're gonna let this set off. And, oh, would you look at that? Get out of here, we have a one ready for you guys right now. And this is our fully settled day-age punch to cream. And you know it's not Christmas if we don't have a little bit of rum. The rum we'll be using today is Brugal 1888. From the Dominican Republic, it is done with a European sherry cast. So you're getting a lot of honey, you're gonna get a lot of dried fruit, and a lot of warming spice notes, especially clove and vanilla. And let's get the pouring. For this, you just wanna do two ounces. And now that we made it and it's all set, we want to add the punch of cream as well, just to round it all out. And you just want to put in three ounces of the punch of cream. Or if you have different, different cups or different styles, you want to put a different amount, the ratio is going to be two, oh, two rum to three of the punch of cream. And you definitely want to give that a little bit of a stir just to integrate it a little more. And to top it off, we're going to garnish it with just a little bit of nutmeg. So that's it right on top. And there you have it. Brugal 1888 and punch the cream saving your Caribbean Christmas. Now, I know it may not be my grandma's recipe, but it's someone's grandma's recipe. Well, cheers, everyone and happy holidays.